Having a warm and dry home is important. It's comfortable in winter and cooler in summer. You'll save on heating costs and it's good for your health. And with a lot of your home's heat loss coming through your windows and doors, I'll show you a number of easy ways to seal up your home, get rid of drafts and prevent the heat from escaping. You've more than likely got a few gaps around the exterior of your house. A common place you'll find them are like this, right between the weatherboards and the scribers. These kind of gaps all add up and are well worth filling in to stop the heat from escaping. It's easy to do and some silicon will do the job just fine. So just before we put our masking tape on, I just want to make sure this area is nice and clean. So I've got some terps on a rag. I'm just going to clean all the gunk off, make sure that silicon adheres to the weatherboards properly. Cool. That's tickety-boo. Okay, our next step is putting our masking tape on our weatherboards and onto our scriber. This is going to ensure that we're going to contain our silicon to that area there, and it's going to make a nice, neat little join. So when we're putting our masking tape on, just want to make sure that we're about three millimetres away from our gap. We don't want too much. And you want to make sure also they're using the right masking tape. There is the right masking tape for every job. This one here can last for about three to five days. If you think your job's going to take a little bit longer than that, you can get a masking tape that you can leave on for a little bit longer. And I'm just getting in there nice and neat, using our masking tape to form a really nice straight line, giving us a really good detail. Okay, time to put our silicon on. The type of silicon I'm using is a UV resistant and it's paintable. Little tip here when you're using the old silicon gun, just take your time and I've cut a little nozzle on the end there, about 45 degrees, and just work your way down nice and slow. Now the idea when you're using the silicon is you want to make sure it's actually going right into the crack, it's not just sitting on the surface of the timber. So that's really ensuring that we're going to get a really nice seal and stop any drafts coming through or any heat escaping from around the side of your window. Okay, so I've got my little silicon applicator tool here. It's going to work our way down on 45 degrees, just making sure that I really squeeze that silicon in to the join or into the crack, if you will. That there is how you silicon up a house. Before the silicon is dry, carefully peel off your masking tape. There you go, gaps filled and looking lovely. Easy as. Double glazing is great for keeping in the warmth. But if you don't have it, you can use some window film as a temporary alternative. It's great for the colder areas of the country and it's pretty easy to install and remove. So the first thing we want to do is ensure that this window frame is free from any dirt or grease or dust. So that way we get the best adhesion for our film. Okay, now let's just put our tape around our window sash. and just repeat that process around the other three sides. Okay, now we just want to measure up for our window film. Now to do this, we want to allow 25 millimeters extra on either side of our tape. So that's pretty much on this situation to the side of our window frame here. So that's 530. And 1290. Okay, the next thing we want to do is take off our paper tape that exposes our nice sticky tape behind there. Cool, I'm now ready to put on our window film. Now using a pair of scissors, I've just cut this sheet to size. So let's just um, put this on nice and gently and come down, stretch it out as we go. Now you just want to just give this a slight tighten up as you're putting it on, just pull it off and try and get out as many wrinkles as you can. Okay, the last thing we need to do is use the Mighty Hair Dryer. Now the heat of this is just going to take out any wrinkles that might still be there in the film. Right, out, we're just about there. Now if you've got a few little bits overhanging past your tape, they look a little bit unsightly, just use a pair of scissors and tidy them up, eh?
It's also worth considering getting yourself some thermal curtains. They're another easy way to help keep the heat inside. Here's another problem area. The gap under your doors can create quite a draft and the heat just rushes out. You can easily stop that with one of these weather stop door seals. Okay, the first thing we need to do is measure in between our door jams. That's these puppies right on the side here. Okay, so that's 334 mils. I'm gonna take off three millimeters and mark that on our weather seal and cut it with our hacksaw. Okay, the next thing we need to do is mark 45 millimeters off the bottom of the sill onto our door. Okay, so I'm just gonna position my door seal on our 45 millimeter mark on the door, and we're gonna keep the door seal hard over to your hinge side. That's allowing our three millimeter gap on your opening side. Okay, so just pull that up to your line, open up your weather seal, and that'll expose all our holes there for us to put our screws in. So just put a screw, one in the middle and one on either end. Last thing we need to do is attach our cam to the jam. Now, just ensure that the, your weather seal is pushed hard down on the sill and you just want to screw that in. We have got a little bit of adjustment on this cam. There you go, weather seals. Now that's really going to help keep all our winter weather out. Weather strips are a cost-effective way to eliminate drafts and noise. There are a number of different types for different types of windows and doors. Now in my case, I've got a gap that runs from about three up to around about six millimetres. So I've checked out the back of the packet, I've identified my type of doors, and I've identified my problem, and that tells me exactly the type of product to use. So I'm now going to crack on and put that on. Okay, the first thing we need to do is just make sure all our frame is nice and clean for when we put on our tape. Next thing we want to do is roll out our tape and stick that to the door. Now this comes in two pieces. Let's just separate those out. Just take the tape off the back. Now, just stick this to the door frame so when the door hinges onto it, that's gonna cushion up nice and tight, eliminating any drafts and helping our heat from escaping. Just tap that on there nice and firm, make sure it sticks. Now the position of the seal on this door is hard on the door frame here, so when this door closes, the back of our door is gonna create a perfect seal up against our rubber. Okay, now the position for our top weather seal is gonna go on this particular part of the door jam, so when the doors close, it's gonna cushion up against our rubber creating our nice, perfect weather seal. Sweet, now just repeat the same process for the other side and the bottom. Here's another couple of insulation tips for around the house. Wrapping exposed hot water pipes with foam lagging will stop them losing their heat and will help with energy efficiency. And using a wrap on your hot water cylinder will also help reduce heat loss and again it'll help with your overall energy efficiency. So as we've seen there's a whole lot of simple things you can do around your house to help seal it up and prevent heat loss, giving you a warmer home. You might find you'll even save on electricity too. And if you're planning on more substantial insulation, then check out the guides on how to install wall, ceiling and underfloor insulation, easy as.